so growing up in Plano, Illinois, that's where I was born and raised, uh, went all through high school. Uh, it's Plano High School, kind of a rare breed in the sense that I had one high school coach and really one college coach. Um, so played high school basketball for Scott Miller, who after I left in 1999, I graduated in 1999 from, from Plano High School. Um, he then went on to Glenbard East High School and had an unbelievable career there. Um, and went down to SIU, played for Coach Weber uh, at SIU, Bruce Weber. He left going into my senior year. So I redshirted a year. Going into my redshirt senior year is when he left and went to Illinois and then Matt Painter, who was an assistant for us at the time, took over as head coach. And then after my senior year is when he left and went on to Purdue. So after I graduated from SIU, uh, I was kind of in flux of what I wanted to do. I went back home. I was, thought I was going to get into the business sector. Uh, Chris Lowry, who was an assistant and also played at SIU, uh, he was an assistant at SIU at the time. Then he went to Illinois with Bruce Weber, came back as the head coach when Matt Painter left. Uh, so there's a graduate assistant spot open. Uh, and I reached out to him, one of the other assistants who now is the head coach at Miami of Ohio, Jack Owens. I reached out to me and said, hey, would you be interested in coming back as a graduate assistant? I didn't think I wanted to get into coaching. I'd always told Coach Weber I didn't want to get into coaching. I didn't think that was for me at the time, uh, especially after five years of, of playing for coach and just the, the physical toll it took. I just kind of was ready for a break. So after about two months, then I came back uh, as a graduate assistant under Chris Lowry at SIU. Uh, we had a guy leave staff, an assistant leave staff. I got moved up in that next season, so I did about a year and a half of a graduate assistant spot. Uh, so I did that for seven years, I believe it was, as an assistant under Chris. Um, then we went to Kansas State uh, for a year. And Paul Lusk, who was also an assistant at SIU at the time that I played, who also played at SIU, was the head coach at Missouri State. He had a spot open up on his staff. We left Kansas State, went to Missouri State for three years, and then Coach Weber had a spot open on his staff at Kansas State. We moved back to Kansas State as a full-time assistant um, after being three years at Missouri State and spent the last four years there. So that's kind of my whole life deal yeah. in, in a nutshell, but uh, that's kind of where it, where, it all, where it all started and how it all got us to this point. I want the, I want the player experience first. I, I really feel that I can go back to SIU at any time that I want and people will know and recognize and respect everything that we have done over the years. Uh, and that's because we acted the right way, we treated people right, the right way, and we played the right way. Uh, so I, I want that same type of, of environment, uh, that same type of ownership from our players, that, that this is a player's first program. Uh, that doesn't mean you get to do whatever you want, but that's, it's your program, it's your school. This is gonna be where you come back to 10, 15, 20 years. And I want them to have that same pride for their school. I think I was just too deep into the forest to see the trees. You know, I just was like, ah, oh, I'm done. I don't have to come, you know, I don't have to have my life regimented every day uh, by coaches or by practice or by weights or by uh, conditioning. So it's like, I just needed a break, I think more than anything. And then once I got away from it, uh, you know, it's that old saying, you, you love something, let it go. If it comes back to it's yours. And I kind of let it go and it just brought me right back two months. And then here we are 16 years later, um, you know, so I think it, what, I don't know that anything necessarily changed for me. It just once you get out of your comfort zone, maybe not even a comfort zone, but what, what you know every single day, your routine, um, that's when you can really make a decision. Okay, well, is this not what I want to do? Or maybe I should look into this. And then always the thought of being able to get a higher education, you know, to be able to get a master's degree. I was like, well, two years, I can wait two more years to join the real world. And I've had to join the real world in, in 16 years now. So working for coaches mainly though, He's the same guy he was when he started recruiting me in 1998. And if you look at his career and where he's been and how his career has gone, the successes, the so-called failures or low points, to remain the same person through all that, uh, to me really speaks to his character and the way he treats people. Uh, he treats people the right way. He wants what's best for you. Um, although it may not be always what you want to hear, uh, he really does have your best interests at heart and he treats you the way that you would want to be treated. And he was just really an extension SIU in general, all those guys uh, were an extension of how I was raised. And so now when you send your, kid, your children off to college, you, you want that same experience. You hope that everything that you put into them to that point doesn't just go away um, in college. And those guys were um, exemplary examples of, of what I was taught and how I was raised and the values that were instilled in me when I was a, a young kid.